Hey there, fellow adult collectors, action figure and vintage toy aficionados. Welcome back. David Eon here in the Toy Museum. This time, taking a closer look at my wife's Dukes of Hazard collection. That's right, fan of Dukes of Hazard. One of those shows that, like many of us, she grew up watching. I grew up watching this. Just a goofy, fun show, kind of like Gilligan's Island or, you know, any other silly show that mostly doesn't make any sense, but it's fun to watch. Dukes of Hazzard kind of falls into that category. It's set like a drama, but you can't help but laugh at a lot of what they do. Doesn't make any sense, especially the last season. My wife and I just finished watching it. We had the box set. And we watched one episode a week for the last couple of years here. And have seen every episode of the original series. Silly show. The last, ep last season in particular was just really goofy. Aliens and robots and shit. I kid you not. <laughs> it got really weird. Her vintage lunchbox here. It's actually in really decent shape. There's a Koi and Vance lunchbox also. She doesn't have that one. And the Koi and Vance lunchbox really just looks like a repaint of this one. Anyways. Koi and Vance didn't quite fly. You know what I mean? It was like, who the hell are these guys? Didn't go over well with fans. She does have the thermos, which is a great deal. That's often missing. Her Joes of Hazard Joe Fest exclusive. That's the vamp remade into a General Lee. Here's the artwork. It's an art card. It was supposed to be a box, but they ended up just doing a card. And then the two figures of Bo and Luke as G.I. Joes. O-ring figures with a crossbow there, even though I don't think they ever used a crossbow on the show. They used compound bows because they weren't allowed to touch guns as part of their probation from Moonshining. That's right. TV tray. And the TV tray is a great alternative, by the way, to lunchboxes. If you're into lunchboxes and you just like, wow, some of these lunchboxes are so expensive, there's no way I could afford a collection of lunchboxes. TV trays are a great alternative. They usually cost a lot less. They take up more space, but they display really well. It can be tough to find them in great shape, though, because they often are really dented or rusty, but, you know, this one's not too bad. Her autograph of Bone Luke. In front of the General Lee, or they're most likely in front of a picture of the General Lee there, <laughs> quite frankly. A much older version of Bo and Luke there. And then her Mego 8 inch action figures Bo and Luke. These were made in 1981. Boss Hog. And Daisy. They made three and three quarter inch figures of this series also, but she hasn't really expressed any interest in having those. The figures themselves mostly are not that expensive, but the vehicles from the three and three quarter inch line are really expensive. She's got a 45 of the theme song by Waylon Jennings, and this is, of course, the full version. Because what you hear on the show is the cut version, it's a short version. The American Muscle. 
Dukes of Hazard die cast 118th scale. 1969 Dodge Charger. The General Lee, ladies and gentlemen. And you know it is explained in the show how it ended up being painted like this. Cooter did it. <laughs> they do have an episode where they explain, they go back in time and they explain where they first got the General Lee from. It's an interesting episode. Basically, that's all the paint Cooter had, and he put the flag on there because of the historical connection to the town. A waste basket. And just like with the TV trays, if you're into this type of thing, it's an inexpensive alternative to lunchboxes. And you notice it's pretty much the same artwork as the TV tray. But yeah, waste baskets you can usually get pretty cheap. There's an alternative side here. Sometimes waste baskets have the same art on both sides, sometimes they don't. But yeah, waste baskets and again TV trays. Great inexpensive alternatives to collecting lunch boxes if it's just not on your budget. And that's about all she has for Dukes of Hazard, I believe. Except for our DVD box set. But you know, we keep that with the DVDs. We don't we don't have it all down here. At the last Toy Lanta we actually saw and showcased in our highlights reel. Someone had three boxed three and three quarter inch or one eighteenth scale. Mego Dukes of Hazard vehicle sets. And none of them were the General Lee. It was the other stuff, the stuff you never see. Boss Hogg's car, Daisy's Jeep, the police car. Very expensive stuff. Anyways, what do you think, guys? Anybody collect any of this kind of stuff? What are your thoughts? Any Mego fans out there? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of that. Sure hope you did. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new. All of that good stuff. And if that is it, then what more can I say? But thanks for watching. And we will see you again soon.